Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. I hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. So let's start learning about HTML form. So the simple syntax is if we want to make a form, we have to make a input tag input and then we have to uh, give the type of the input okay type is equal to in the to be sorry is equal to in between the double quotation we have to write the type of input such as this can be text okay simply as you can see simply this is our form form syntax input type okay so let's see what happened if i reload after saving the uh, saving html okay let's see it is showing a form that means we can put input here and then what should we do we can simply give the input as a noun as a name that means if i r is the first name okay hold on so let's see what happened after saving if i reload my html page it's quite easy to understand that this is the input of the first name and uh, if you see if i change something in here by doing placeholder placeholder that means i think it's easy to show something rather than saying something your name okay after saving this if i go on my html page and i refresh this as you can see this is showing to put my name in the form okay that's how we can use our form and another thing if i bo make bold this first name so i have to give the b tag and the ending b tag ending b tag okay so this is so easy and i have to just use the form tag okay a for rm form and the closing form tag or ending form tag a for rm form okay after saving this if i refresh as you can see this is now in bold style okay so Another important thing we can set our field set okay above the afi eld field set then what happened let's see if I use this field set tag afi eld field set set Oh, I miss the angular first initialized angular bracket. Okay, and see what happened. Control S. If I reload my page again, you can see a um, a thick line appear in in my form. Okay, then let's copy the things and make another form i would like to see it is as a last name sorry last name okay last name so then um, here should be last name okay after saving this if i again refresh my page is, there, is as you can see there are no uh, break in between the two lines so i have to make a break here using br command okay and save again and then after reloading my page as, as you can see the two line appear in my html page first name and last name okay then i would like to take the gender using radio key what is radio key let's see another another thing using the bold tag gender okay in closing b okay 
gender i have to take input okay input input and i have to declare the type as radio radio and so another thing i have to mention there if i take another first name and another last name so i should i should specify this is as the name one so in for storing our data into database we can use this is as our variable that means this n1 define the first name and n2 define the n2 define the last name of last name of the first person p1 pn1 and pn2 okay and if i again take another uh, first name or last name i can take the i can use p2 oh, this should be p1 and i can use p2n1 p2n2 and i can remember using any other key keyword okay so then i had to take this is as a radio and that's it okay and email email okay and then i can use again this input tag to take this as male female female okay or again other o t s e r others i have to capitalize it okay then after saving this if i refresh my page oh i should use a close bracket here i should use a br okay then see what happened why the angular bracket b is appear here okay bold what's wrong with this and i can use another br command here oh i had to use the angular okay then see what happened using control s okay then see then see what happened to our html page okay as you can see it is look like a form first name last name and gender okay so this is how we can use the first and form in our html page and we can take this is as uh, not a radio we can use the check box and drop down box also by using a check box okay c h e c k check box check box box okay then see what happened after saving this if i refresh my page you can see a check box arrive here okay so this is how we can use our html form so thank you for today we will see in the next tutorial with some other html feature